Good morning, everyone. Thanks for taking the time and join my presentation on CO2 refrigeration units for small and medium format uh, retail applications. My name is Markus Lenz. I'm in charge of marketing for condensing units and integrated products at Amazon. So before the, we develop a, a major project like this, we try, of course, to find out what is the needs and trends of the market of the application we target. And uh, doing this, we were in touch with consultants, but also with our end user team, who is in touch then with supermarket owners and operators. And uh, to simplify the outcome of that is the demand is going towards small, green and smart uh, equipment. So small means we, since uh, at least a decade, we see retailers going back to where the people are, which means uh, into city centers. Uh, this requires a small footprint, a very compact design, which corresponds then to sound and space restrictions they have in the target application. So this is why we decided uh, for this type of uh, range, of product range, to have a split design where we can split the gas cooler from the compressor compartment and also flip the gas cooler to realize a horizontal or vertical airflow. So green with this regards means, of course, uh, we want to help the end customer to reduce his uh, CO2 carbon footprint. Um, this works, of course, applying a natural refrigerant like CO2. And then, of course, we need to have a, a high level of efficiency, which helps the customer to reduce his energy consumption, uh, but also his CO2 impact. Then furthermore, uh, we need a product which is very reliable in the application to avoid food waste and food spoilage. And uh, on top of that, and the key trend in the industry is to reuse uh, the heat which is produced by the refrigeration system for heating applications. Uh, finally, smart means there's also a trend of having more electronics, especially as CO2 needs a very precise and close control. For this, we developed an, our own controller and our own algorithm to control this uh, type of application which enables also predictive maintenance, envelope control. We can analyze the status and performance of the gas cooler at any time. So we see if the, comp uh, if the performance will drop over time. So no worries, I will not go uh, into every detail of this, uh, of this slide. Basically what we see there is on the very left, you can find a separation uh, by target application, about store sizes starting from the very large segments like uh, hypermarkets, going down to supermarkets and discounters, C stores, express and city stores. And on the lower end, uh, you can see the food service applications. Then we have a rough estimation of an average uh, capacity demand for medium temperature and low temperature uh, application. And then we have the basic split into the three architectures we see, which can be or which are typically applied uh, in these applications separated by refrigerant again. And then you can see on the, on the larger end, this is typically, especially for new builds, uh, highly focused on, on booster CO2, but from the uh, size of supermarket, medium and small and discounters, we will have a, a variation or different options of applying the architecture between centralized, decentralized and integrated display cabinets. And then typically down in the smaller format, we have single units, which could be a remote unit or a monoblock application. So what we are trying to approach here is to offer a decentralized solution for CO2 for small and medium sized supermarkets and discounters down to C stores. Now about the product range, we developed in total four models. Uh, you can see on the top right, offering a capacity from 15 to 46 kilowatts. Uh, we apply on the smallest one, uh, a single fan and a single compressor. And then the other models are all equipped with tandem compressors. Uh, all of these units uh, are with a variable speed uh, capacity control. So we have a very high range of, of modulation. For the tandem unit, the modulation range is between 12 and 100%. So in order to feature and enable the decentralized solution for the retailers, <clears throat> we go to this large capacities. So one unit can cover all uh, medium temperature demand of a typical application in that format. 
Then we have a stepless capacity control going to also very small capacities, which is especially important in winter times where we have uh, low ambient temperatures to avoid uh, switching the, the um, system on and off. And we have a modular design, uh, as I mentioned before, which I will explain in detail. So these are uh, the configurations we, we see. We start on the very left, you have a, a package system which you can put inside the building. Typically it's outside, outside the building, either on the roof or behind the building. Uh, but because we can split uh, the system and we can also flip the condenser for vertical or horizontal airflow, we can put both outside on the roof, for example, depending on the space, or we can put classically or typically the compressor compartment inside the building and the gas cooler outside. Or we could finally also put the full package inside the building, have then the vertical airflow and duct the warm air out of the building. Okay, as I mentioned before, especially for CO2, it's important to have an advanced and very tight control. And here we uh, took the flow components and, component and control components out of our uh, yeah, Amazon toolbox. Um, so what is important here, because we apply uh, a new technology, CO2 transcritical scroll, which is newly developed uh, with dynamic vapor injection, we need a dedicated control, especially to control this intermediate pressure and the level of vapor we inject into the compressor. Uh, then I mentioned we have stepless uh, control by the free frequency drive, which is also uh, out of our own portfolio. Um, very important also, and especially because we can split the system and we do not know how long the pipes are and the target applications, is the active oil management. So the units are equipped with an oil separator and with the OM5 oil management system to guarantee we always have a, a sufficient level of oil at the compressor. Uh, I mentioned smart controls, the uh, XC Pro controller. You can hear, and within this controller, we have all the algorithm which was developed uh, specifically for this CO2 scroll condensing units. And then we have various um, different components which are all well adjusted for the target application. What is further more important here is the control interf interface. So we have a, a VisoTouch uh, panel here, which is a small monitor, LCD color monitor, which touch function, which uh, displays and monitors uh, all system functions in real time. So the key benefits we, we see about this, this design and this new product range is uh, we can efficiently operate the system in all climates because we have this dynamic vapor injection, which helps us to manage the amount of flash gas we see important, especially for high ambient temperatures. Uh, then we have the modular design, which corresponds to all needs we find in indoor and outdoor applications, depending on the target application. Uh, we have the new latest scroll technology with the uh, advanced control intelligence. And we say this is designed to the quality requirements of the food retail industry. So we know food retailers who specify for a certain type of capacity. They want to have at least two fans. They want to have at least uh, two compressors. They want to have two PRV valves on the system. All this is already equipped inside our units. Also increasingly important is the sound level. So for here we applied the, the latest uh, EC fans. Plus, of course, the scroll compressors in general have a lower vibration sound level compared to a piston compressor. All right, I mentioned this is a brand new technology, uh, CO2 scroll transcritical with dynamic vapor injection. So it, it requires a, a lot of testing, not only on, on the compressor side, but also, of course, on the system side. Uh, I just mentioned a, a few tests we, we performed during the recent years, uh, which is of course performance efficiency capacity. Uh, then especially for this new technology is the dynamic vapor injection, how to control this, what is the amount of vapor we re-inject into the scroll set. Uh, capability of doing high ambient uh, operation, sound as I mentioned here in our sound chamber, very important all different types of temperature and vibration measurements, so vibration on the compressor, vibration on the pipes. Um, also, when we have the split design, so this is one, uh, what we did in our factory, 
putting the compressor compartment on the bottom, uh, the gas cooler on the roof, typical application with a pipe length of 60 to 70 meters in between the two. So we want to learn what is the uh, what is the challenge of managing the oil and oil return and oil distribution uh, among that system. And then, of course, we have uh, uh, legislation like EMC compliance, eco design compliance. All these tests have been performed during the recent years. OK, lab test is one. But of course, we want to verify uh, the technology also in field applications and real field applications. So early this year, we started uh, one of the first application uh, in, in, a, in a supermarket or in a, in a food specialist market in Belgium. Uh, this is a typical application, as you can see here. So this is in the city center, in the pedestrian zone. There is no space left or right or on the roof. So very, very tight and tiny. Uh, the shop floor uh, size here was about 250 square meters. Uh, demand 15 kilowatts, four counters, two cabinets, one cold room. So very typical installation with a very typical challenge of uh, space and noise. So this is why this customer decided to have a split uh, installation. So they put the compressor compartment here in the basement and they put the gas cooler uh, outside on the roof behind the building. Uh, and we have uh, quite positive feedback for this, especially for this split uh, design, because any other um, design or any compact design would not suit this, this uh, challenge or this request here. Customers also happy about the wide, level, uh, wide range of capacity modulation. Uh, and yeah, as we installed at the beginning of the year, we could, pa could pass the very hot and long summer 2022. We have the unit under remote monitoring like any other field installation we have. So we monitor exactly the data and the parameters. Uh, and we are, we are happy uh, that there's a really a, a smooth and reliable operation throughout the year. All right, short summary and conclusions. So we have proven that the new CO2 transcritical scroll technology works reliable because we have not only several units, but also different booster applications and, and, and field trials. Uh, the modular design is uh, very much appreciated uh, by backend and customers. We collected a lot of data from booster system, from condensing unit applications, which we will use now to, to analyze and then further optimize wherever this is needed. Uh, so we have the smart uh, control that we have, which further increases the reliability. So our controller uh, manages the compressor to always operate in the compressor application envelope and not go out of this application envelope, which is, of course, very important for the compressor lifetime. Uh, the ramp up will now start uh, beginning of January. We will start with the smallest model first. And during the year, we will add also the larger capacities uh, for the tandem compressor models. And that's it basically from my side. If there are any questions, we still have some minutes. Otherwise, I invite you to visit our booth and we can have uh, more detailed discussions. Yes, please. Thank you. And the mic. Thanks for your presentation. Um, there's a big difference in required displacement to meet a design load if your ambient is 35 or 45. Now, our market is a tight ambient market, so our design is 45. What scope is there for fitting some sort of adiabatic cooling system? Um, is your controller capable and ready for it? And I had a second question. The uh, design, the rating of the piping, suction and liquid, from the condensing unit to the field, uh, what is it? So about, uh, thanks for interesting questions about the first one. Uh, so the unit is designed to, to match ambient uh, temperatures up to 44 degrees. We can probably discuss and debate about uh, 44 or 45. So this is where uh, we say, okay, this is approved, this is safe operation. I believe it can also withstand 45, but this has to be tested. And we, we did develop this for high ambient temperatures exactly to avoid adiabatic cooling. So this is what is not in our consideration. Of course, this can be added at any time, but it's not in our scope. So this is something that has to be done by a third party. Um, the second question was about the size, the, di the diameter size of the pressure rating of the pipes. 
Oh, okay. So we, yeah, okay, we have we have we have inter internally uh, we have a 90 90 bar uh, design, so which is for the receiver and uh, all internal pressures, and then the uh, suction is still 90 bar and the discharge is 130 bar, and also the gas cooler uh, design pressure is 130 bar. Any other questions? All right, thanks again. Have a good show.